Hi everyone, I'm José Valim, and today I'm here to talk about secret management and hubs on the third day of Livebooks Launch Week. So let's get started. When starting a new project, I always consider it to be an opportunity uh, to look back at everything that has been done and try to see what mistakes, what were the lessons learned, and try to improve uh, from the status quo. And uh, of course, it doesn't mean that whatever I'm going to build is going to be better, right? I can always repeat mistakes that were not documented before, or when you are taking a new path, you're always going to commit new mistakes that have not been committed before. But I think it's an important exercise nonetheless. So when working on Livebook in particular, one of the papers that have helped us uh, understand what could be improved is this paper from Microsoft called What is Wrong with Computational Notebooks, Pain Points, Needs, and Design Opportunities. So for example, uh, I have the paper open here and then one of the many points that it brings, for example, is like archival, right? And that's why it was very important for us for uh, live books, uh, for notebooks in live book to be, to be able for to put it under version control and for them to be readable, for them to be accessible. So, you know, you can review on a pull request, you can drop comments, this kind of stuff, right? We also uh, worked a lot on like the... Um, managing code and reproducibility aspect. So Livebook understands package management and all the whole execution was designed to be reproducible. A lot of it thanks to functional programming. And one of the things that I think is going to be uh, one of the biggest pain points for companies and teams who want to use notebooks is the security aspect, right? So here they say, Maintaining data confidentiality and access control is an ad hoc manual process where errors can leak private client data and they have a direct quote, we are missing a more private way of handling credentials. I don't want client credentials to be visible to others, right? So uh, if we go back to Livebook, uh, this is something that we have been constantly improving on and on the last releases and I want to talk more about it. So if I open up a new notebook, uh, so for example, if you are deploying like a web application and there is something that is a secret, things like a 12 factors uh, app, they say things like, well, you know, if you want to access a secret, you should use an environment variable. So in Livebook, if you prefix your environment variables with LB underscore, we understand that those environment variables, they are meant to be managed by Livebook. So if I try to access it and it doesn't exist, we are going to detect that. We are going to say, hey, a secret's missing, and then you can go, you can add a value to it, and you can choose to store the value only in the session, which means it's temporary. When the session is over, the secret value is gone, it disappears, or you can choose it to store in your hub. And now every live book um, that is running uh, on livebook 0.9, everybody has a hub, has a personal hub that is going to be stored and is going, every time you close uh, the live book and start it again, everything that is stored in your hub is going to be there, right? So let's start this one in the session. And now if I execute it, I can access the value. And of course, I can also manage my secrets here. And you can see that we have exactly that, the secrets that are available to the session. So those are the temporary ones. And I also have my hub secrets, right? Which by default, they are not shared with this notebook, but I can choose to share it with I want. And this already, we hope it's going to provide some guidance to notebook authors to rely more on secrets and don't hard code those things inside their notebooks. But something also that we, we did is that our smart cells, they understand secrets as well. So for example, if I say I want to connect to Postgres, I'm going to install the dependencies. And after the dependencies are installed, if I want to put a password, I can click here and then by default, I'm going to say, look, you most likely want to use a secret for your password. And then I can choose an existing secret that is in the session, or I can choose a secret that is in the hub, or I can create a new one. So I'm going to say, look, I want to use the hello secret. Let's say that this is going to be my Postgres password. So I can click this, and we are going to see that it will automatically share the secret that I have on my machine, in this case, for this hub um, with the notebook. And now it's going to have access to that. Right, and this is it. And we hope like this is going to guide notebook authors and also those developers who are creating smart cells to go towards a a 
a secure workflow by default. But at the same time, everything that I have shown here, it's actually not enough, okay? Why? Imagine the following. Imagine you get a notebook on the internet. Are you allowed to share, do you want to share all the secrets that you got with this notebook that you, you got from the internet? The secure answer for this is no, you don't want to share it, right? You don't want to do that by default. That's not what you want to do 100%, right? So, so that's what we do, right? So if you get a random notebook on the internet, it's not going to have access to your secrets and you have to allow them explicitly. But at the same time, that's kind of like a not good workflow, right? Because if you actually are the person who created that notebook, right? You don't want to go like every time you execute it, especially if you're automating a workflow, you don't want to go like explicitly allow it secret. That's going to be annoying. So what we are doing in Livebook 0.9 is that we now we stamp a notebook and we can see the stamp if we look at what is generated. So we have this comment here at the bottom saying, look, I, we have this stamp here and this stamp is saying, hey, I was the one who wrote this notebook and we also encrypt the secret names that you're supposed to have access. And now we know that um, we are the one who stamped it and it's fine for us to access it. And what is even cool is that the, the notebook itself is part of the stamp. So if you change the notebook, it's a new stamp, which means that it's not possible for somebody to get your stamp from this notebook and go stamping other things to pretend that it's yours, right? So that's one of the new features in uh, Livebook 0 0.9 is this whole idea of hubs and notebook stamping. So let's, let's take a look at it. So if I go back to the home page here, I can click my hub. And again, all notebooks now, all Livebook installations, they have their personal hub. You can choose a name, you can choose the emoji that is going to make you happy. And here you can see all the secrets uh, that belong to this hub that is, they are stored by default. And you can also configure a secret key. So for example, if you have three machines or two and you want to share notebooks between them, you want to configure all of them to have the same secret key. And now we hope that we are really leading developers and users towards a safer workflow. There is just one problem left, which is what is going to happen when you're working as a team? You most likely don't want to share your secret key. It's yours, right? So when you're working as a team, um, we are working on the separate project called Livebook Teams. And the idea of Livebook Teams is that it is a separate hub. It's not a, a different Livebook, okay, that you run on your machine. It's a, it's a separate hub that you're going to run inside the infrastructure of your company, right? And that's going to manage all the secrets. And it's also going to be responsible for stamping the notebooks for everybody that belongs to your team. So this way you can safely share secrets, you can safely share notebooks between all your team members because there is this main authority that is going to be stamping and making sure that everything is safe. So Livebook Teams is going to be a paid offering because it runs inside your company. And we have a lot planned for Livebook Teams. It's not about secret management only. It's also about deploying notebooks inside your company or starting a bunch of different Livebook installations inside your company as well. If you have uh, users or developers that do not want to install Livebook on their machines. So there's a lot more coming. And, um, and that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you today. So uh, that's secret management. You can use your personal hub and get safer workflow today. And if you are working as a team, uh, get in touch and would love to hear more from you. Thank you very much.